Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the differences between our range of radial pressure wave shockwave machines. On my right, I have my Chattanooga Mobile 2 RPW shockwave machine, the Chattanooga Intellect Clinical shockwave machine, the MP Storz Medical MP100 sitting on top of the Storz Medical MP200. The first feature to compare is the bar pressure. Now, the Chattanooga Mobile 2 has the same compressor as the Storz Medical MP100. They both go up to five bars. However, there is a trade-off. The frequency only goes up to 12 Hertz at five bars. The Chattanooga Intellect Clinical Shockwave Machine has a very similar compressor to the MP200. Both machines go up to five bars at 21 Hertz and with the V actor will go up to 35 Hertz. So guys, what it really comes down to is the features of the machine. It's like buying a car. You can either get your base model, which still does the job, or you can get your premium model, which has more newer, up-to-date features. The Chattanooga handpiece has just one button to start the treatment, whereas the Storz handpiece has all the settings on the handpiece. So you can control the bar pressure, the intensity, you can even select programs from the handpiece. And this is great because it allows the, the therapist to, to adjust the settings on the handpiece whilst treating the patient, instead of coming back to the machine and changing the settings. The only machine to have the ramp up feature is the Intellect Clinical Shockwave Machine, which is great for patient comfort. The V Actor can work on all machines. However, on the mobile machine, there's only one port, which means you have to unplug the radio handpiece every time you want to use it. But on the Chattanooga and both Storz machines, there is a separate port for the V-Actor. If your therapist wants to do cupping, they have to get the MP200 as it's only available on this machine. All of our mach radial shockwave machines use Storz medical technology. What this means is that they are all clinically proven as there are plenty of studies out there using the Storz medical devices. All of the machines come with the standard RO40 and deep impact transmitter, as well as the D20 muscle transmitter. You can also purchase additional transmitters, which can be used on all four machines. The spine transmitter set and the fascia transmitter set are only available on the Storz medical machine. Reason being is that the handpiece goes below one bar. It actually starts at 0.3 bars on the Storz handpiece, whereas the Chattanooga handpieces start at one or 1.4 bar. The Mobile 2 is the most portable of, of the four devices. The MP100 is also quite lightweight. However, it's not really designed to be that portable. The Chattanooga Clinical comes all in built with the touchscreen, the compressor, the trolley, all in one. Whereas the Storz machine have a separate tablet, a separate trolley, it's all a bit modular. So if you're looking for an all-in-one device, the Chattanooga Intellect is probably the way to go. The Storz machines require two power points, one to charge the tablet and one to power the machine, whereas the Chattanooga machines just require one power point to power the machine. So guys, to summarize, they all produce the same therapeutic benefit. It all just comes down to the features of which machine that want and what's most suitable for their clinic needs. 